This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. A starting five for both teams brought to you by State Farm. First for the Lakers, Derek Fisher out there with Bryant. And the big guy in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Fox, and it's Walker in at the foursome. And for the Wizards, money out there with Michael Jordan. We've got White. What a tremendous talent, getting ready for his first NBA appearance. Then there's Richard Hamilton, and it's Jones in at the four-man position. You know, not a lot of people knew what to make of the Lakers last season. I mean, first year with Mike Brown as the head coach, an aging group, a maturing group, if you will. But they showed they still have that Laker magic at times. to the Lakers. And Fisher kicks to Bryant. Chris Hamilton with the rebound. Back to the Lakers. They struggled at times, but by the end of the season, Steve, they looked just as good as any team in contention for the title. Well, you knew that, uh, you know, it was going to take some time uh, with the new coach as they put everything together. Uh, but defensively, that team was really good all season long. Offensively, they had their growing pains. But by the end of the year, I thought they had kicked it into gear pretty well. And so it's the Wizards getting on the board first. Fisher, the pass to Bryant. Inside, here's White. Down goes the slam. I'm not sure which was better, the fast break or the steal that got it started. I think it was a defense, Steve, quite honestly. I mean, the whole play isn't even possible if he doesn't make the steal. And Mike Brown, coach of the year back in Cleveland in 2009. Really a proven winner. Very smart, young. He's got a lot of charisma. His players like him. And I think still developing as a coach. He's going to get better and better. He's got plenty of good years ahead of him. Here's Whitman after the basket by the Lakers. Feeds the white. Lock at six. Puts up a three. The shot misses. And the Lakers take it the other way. And Steve Mike Brown, a top 20 win percentage in the all-time coaching ranks. Pretty impressive. Very impressive. Of course, he had you know, plenty of help in Cleveland with LeBron James. If you have LeBron, you're going to have a good record. And now plenty of star power with the Lakers as well. Uh, but really, you know, coaching is all about making talent work. You have to have talent in the first place, but if you do, you've got to make it work. And I think that's the challenge here in L.A. for Brown. They were decent last year, but to make that next step, uh, they've got to figure out a way, and he has to figure out a way to put all these pieces together. So it's Washington now, following the bucket by the Lakers. Here's Jordan. Tries again, and it's White missing. Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Bryant passes to Fox. Fires the three. Rebound, Washington. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Mike Brown. And uh, what'd you find out? Kevin, he said, I think everyone in the league knows we're one of the tougher teams defensively. Really, for us, it is about maintaining that fire and making sure we keep helping each other out on every switch. Let's see if they can keep that fire going. Thank you very much, Doris. The defensive strategy guys being heavily enforced by the coaching staff. And that's in large part because of the talent they have on that side of the ball. A lot of length, speed, quick hands. They've got a lot of ability on that side of the floor. Well, when you've got the horses, you've got to ride them and let them run. And defensively, they've definitely got some horses. Man, he makes a lot of tremendous plays at that end of the court. We see it from him every game. And here is Whitney. Hamilton outside. And there's the pass to White. The shot is off. Shaq with some nice D. Yeah, he's struggled with his shot this quarter, and he's got to find a groove somehow. Bryant guarded by Jordan. High post shot. Bryant's shot is off. The Wizards with the lead. 
It's Jordan on the wing. Defended by Bryant. Here's Jordan. And he makes good on the layup. Jordan's got his second bucket of the game to go. Good work turning that into an easy two point. He can attack the rim as well as anybody. Well, sooner or later, you know, if the Wizards don't turn things around, I would expect there to be major changes uh, because they, some of the decisions they've made have been a little questionable in terms of the draft picks, uh, the free agent signings. And let's face it, there's always a shelf life for everybody in the NBA when you don't win. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Wizards have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. So timeout called here. Ladies, the first for Washington. For the Wizards, they have tried to remain patient throughout this rebuilding process. They've gone through, but at some point, you know, Clark, the patience just won't be there anymore. Well, the emotional attachment of the fans is hard to sustain if the team is hovering around the bottom of the standings every year. And as you pointed out, you know, the guys at the top, upper management, wants to start seeing some results with these guys. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. Here's Shorty. It's Davis on the wing. A three ball. Good. Davis has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, he's an assassin from three-point range, guys. That's the first thing people talk about when his name comes up. Yeah, he really has a feathery touch from out there. Really soft and sweet. His consistency in shooting the ball is just amazing. Release point, trajectory, everything right where it needs to be. Back to Brown. Now Haywood inside. Oh! Uses both hands to slam it down. And you really don't want to give up too many dunks like that. One is too many. Oh, yeah. No, certainly you're right. You know, that's making it way too easy for sure. Yeah, major breakdown defensively. They've got to tighten things up here. Here is Shaw. Following the bucket by the Wizards. It's Richmond on the wing. Off the pick. Takes it up. And the dunk by Ori. Boy, that's hard-nosed sandpaper basketball right there. A lot of little friction in there, Oh, partner. I love the way you described that. Was it ever? <laughs> Nobody was going to get to the rim but him. Oh, man, with the violent putback to finish it off. And the Wizards with possession after the basket by the Lakers. Let's it go from the wing. Cannot hit. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Richmond dishes to George. That misses had a chance to tie it there. Here's ABC. Shot is no good. Richmond with the defensive effort. Here is Shaw. Here's Ori. And that's not going to go. And at the end of one, a closely contested. team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter and when you consider how the Wizards are doing Stephen Clark your thoughts I was impressed with their transition game guys they really got out and ran the lanes yeah they did I mean no better way to get easy buckets than through fast breaks here's Shorty looking for his first bucket of the game the shots good from Jordan Jordan Jordan's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Wizards. Bryant with it. Fisher a screen on Jordan. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Washington making some changes. Kwame Brown, he's checked in for Haywood. And Hubert Davis subbed in for Michael Jordan. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Cool hands checked in for Shaq. Walker comes in for Ori. Fox, he's checked in for Smooth. Shaw subbed in for Derek Fisher. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, plenty of players have needed to wear face masks at certain points in their careers. But there's one player for whom the mask has become a permanent fixture, and that's Rip Hamilton. 
after breaking his nose three times, he was in danger of needing major surgery if he broke it again. So he's worn the mask ever since. Rip said, I take pride in it. That's like my cape. There's a lot of great players in the NBA, and that separates me from everybody else. So I love it. It's my identity, and I'll wear it the rest of my career. Kevin? Well, Doris, it is a signature look. Thank you. And you got to have perfect timing right. to knock down that teardrop. Wizards leading by four. You know, the Lakers have long been the pride of the West for the better part of the century, but every so often they can hit tough stretches, and last year they had a hard time with the East. Now, here's Thomas. A steal. Ryan against Hamilton. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, they just couldn't do what the rest of the Western Conference playoff teams did against the East and the Lakers. Steve, we're uh, nine up and nine down, right at 500. Yeah, kind of surprising, given that the East was uh, the weaker conference for sure. I would have expected a better record from the Lakers. They really got off to a slow start, particularly on the road, and I think that cost them a little bit at the end. There were a lot of high hopes, Kevin, for the Wizards last season. They thought they would make some strides forward as a team. I mean, they've got some talented young pieces, but overall, they just did not make the kind of improvements that were anticipated. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Brendan Haywood, he's checked in for Tom Thomas. Jones comes in for Kwame Brown. ABC's checked in for Richard Hamilton. And money subbed in for Shorty. Wizards found themselves near the bottom of the East again, and it was in part due to how they played at Homestead. Yeah, the Wizards going 11-22 and 22 here at home. I mean, that's just not going to get it done. And it just shows you how young and inexperienced they were. But they've added some veteran help along that front line. Some steady locker room guys. And I think they should be able to give these fans more to cheer about this season. Here is Shaw. He feeds it to Bryant. The fadeaway. And the shot is good. Bryant's got eight points. Wizards have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And there's the feed to Haywood. Just five on the clock. From deep. And another miss by Washington. Lakers shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Shaw passes to Bryant. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Well, you know what? You really expect him to knock that jumper down when he gets a good look like that. Passes it to Whitman. Here's ABC. The Wizards with another miss. He's got a nice touch on that shot normally, but good defense there clogging the lane. Lakers passing it around. Here is Shaw. Pass to Ori. And Jones pulls it down. The Wizards shooting about 42% so far. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Whitney misses. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. They now take the lead. Bryant. Bryant's got 10 points in the game. Well, good job finding a little opening in the defense and burying the jumper. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Well, you think about the Lakers a year ago, I think the thing that bothered them was they just never could win consistently on the road. They controlled their home court, but on the road, it was a different story. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. And the Lakers with some changes. against Shep. Down low, and he stands it in one-handed. 
put that ball up there and banged it home. Yeah, Man, little, that was nice. Little Statue of Liberty. Yeah, right. that was strong. Mm, simple, direct, and effective. When you look back at last season, and Steve was just touching on it, the Lakers just really had trouble when they left L.A. on the road. They just they just couldn't bring it together. Kevin, they ended up with a 15-18 and 18 road record on the year. First time in about five seasons that they haven't had a winning record on the road. Here's Shorty, still looking to get on the scoreboard. Here's Jordan. And that misses. That would have put him up. The Lakers have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, 3 of 6. And Fisher kicks to Walker. He dishes it to Fisher. He kicks it to O'Neal. Puts the lead pass in front of him. He gets it to go. Walker's got his Walker. first points in this one. Washington trailer. 54 seconds left in the first half of the game. Wide a screen on Fisher. Outside Jordan. Shot clock at six. Here's Shorty. Releases from 15, and the shot is good. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Richmond outside. Kicks it to Fisher. Shaq with the screen. Fisher dishes to O'Neal. Six to shoot. The dish to Fisher. Again, the Lakers. Derek Fisher. And here is Jordan. He has six. That's good. Michael Jordan's got four this quarter. You don't need much range to hit from that distance, Kevin. The three. Oh! Wow. That's a nice way to end the half. The big three to take the lead as we go to the break. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Here we go now. The start of the third quarter. Welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. ABC really making a difference here. Yeah, the points have really come in bunches for him so far. And not really a surprise because you know exactly what he can do. Well, he's been in the groove all game long, Steve, and not too many hiccups in regards to his shooting, but we also have come to expect this from him, so we're not surprised by it. Jordan. Two more. And Washington again with the bucket. The Lakers in the lead. Now Fisher. He passes it to Walker. And that comes off the assist by Derek Fisher. Walker's got his second bucket. And defensively, you've got to try to keep the ball on the perimeter. Yeah, he's not going to miss those, not often anyway. The defense has to muscle up and deny him that position to have a chance. Whitney against Fisher. Back to Jordan. Goes straight up. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, and he's been a player who always saves his best for last, Kevin. Absolutely thrives under pressure and... You know, when some guys Two back shots. down with the game coming down to the wire, he seems to be the one to take it up a notch. And he's very much a student of the game in terms of getting to know the tendencies of whichever player he's guarding on any given night and then gearing his defensive game plan to do what he needs to do to stop him. And the second free throw, good. Well, the big challenge for the Wizards the last few years has been defensively. They just haven't put forth the effort. I think they're such a young squad that uh, they really didn't have a foundation for defense. So that's something that they're trying to build as we speak. And they've got a long way to go. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. The pass to Whitney. Shut up, shut up. Hits the jumper in space. Going back to the Washington Wizards, Clark. They're taking strides to encourage more defensive play. And sometimes it paid off, sometimes it didn't. The young team still developing. And they think they're headed, though, in the right direction, at least defensively. Well, they had a reward system, Kevin, for players taking charges. And you actually could see it in the stat. They seem to have started to turn the corner defensively at the end of last season. Now, here's Jordan. He's got 11. That puts them in the lead. Jordan's got 13. 
three for three. You gotta like this hot start in the third quarter. Outside Bryant, Fox. This is the Fisher. Check the screen on Whitten. And that one's good from Fisher. Seven points in the game. Only got a half step on his man, but that's all he needed when he ran off the pick. And as a result, able to finish the layup. That's nicely done. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Well, there's some very popular destinations for free agents around the league. Chicago, New York, Miami. But for me, the Lakers are still the premier market for players. You know, big city, a history of winning with the Laker organization, and fantastic weather, of course. Brendan Haywood, he's checked in for Washington. Brown comes in for Jones. Or he's checked in for the Lakers. Smooth comes in for Fox. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. It's Jordan on the wing. And that one's good. Jordan's got 15 points. And Steve, to follow up on your point, the whole aspect of Hollywood has always been a big lure for the Lakers as far as recruiting Clark free agents. We've seen it over the years with all the big names they've gotten to sign in free agency. No doubt about it, the Lakers are still one of those destination teams for a lot of players in the league. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Crowd not happy at all with that call, Clark. You know what? I hope these officials, Steve, have thick skin, and I know they do because they're hearing it on that call. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Aton Thomas has checked in for Haywood. Davis comes in for Michael Jordan, and it's Shorty in for money. Here's Shorty. Brown right side. Outside, Davis. From outside the yard, no luck. And it's the Lakers the other way. To the middle, here's Bryant. An easy two points on the layup. Bryant's got 12. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Outside Thomas. Feeds to Davis. Five on the clock. Brown the pass to Davis. Here's the three. Rebound the Lakers. George has got three rebounds so far in the game. Brown, good. He will fight you down low, guys. Really battles in there. He comes up with a lot of second chance buckets. Kwame Brown, the former number one pick overall in the draft, but he's a guy who never really lived up to his potential, but I think has found a niche defensively in this league. The Warriors had great hopes for him. He was playing well before he went down with that torn pectoral muscle last year. So now he's trying to make a comeback, get healthy, and contribute to his team. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Well, you take a look back to last year, guys. This is a club that converted about 76% of its free throws. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Whitey's checked in for a Tom Thomas. Jones comes in for Kwame Brown. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Hubert Davis. And money's subbed in for Shorty. And you know, you talk about Kwame Brown at 6'11", 270, a muscular build, guys. His sheer size is a deterrent inside. And he's not afraid to mix it up and thump and bump in there either. I like the physicality of brings. I think, quite honestly, that's his greatest asset. Oh, a nice little trend developing here, fellas. I mean, that's eight of their last ten from inside the paint. Yeah, they're getting high percentage looks down there. Their offense is really clicking. I don't see why they would just continue to pound the ball inside. Now here's Bryant. He's got 14. Taken away. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. Here's Jordan. Again, the Wizards score. Now it's hard to imagine them not running away with this game if they can continue to shoot the ball like they have been. Steve, everything is falling for them this half, and they haven't had any empty possessions scoring on every trip. Fisher against White. And Fisher kicks to Bryant. 13 feet away. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. Bryant. Fisher's got three assists now in this one. The Wizards have gone 7 and 9 from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. Here's Whitney. And it's First. good. Assisting on the play with Jordan. Money's got his second basket of the game. 
Fisher dishes to Walker. Fox covered by Hamilton. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Fox, no good. The Wizards have gone 8 of 10 shooting here in the second half. Very strong. Jordan, the pass to White. Jones kicks to Hamilton. Outside Jordan. Passes to Whitney. Hamilton, left side. And the pass to Whitney. Back to Hamilton. He feeds it to Jones. And the officials call a traveling violation. Boy, in a close game especially, those plays really hurt. From half court, no good. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Uncontainable Game Report. Doris? Kevin, for the Wizards, it's been all about an uncontainable game from their two guard. Without a doubt, he has been the big difference maker for his team, coming up with timely play over and over again. Coach has to be ecstatic with his performance. Doris, thanks. His first three quarters have been outstanding. But he's put so much energy in those first three quarters, Kevin. You, you wonder, does he have anything left in the tank to keep it going in the fourth? You know what, Steve? I'd be surprised if there's any drop-off here. As hot as he's been, he should be able to just ride that wave of momentum and adrenaline for as long as he needs to. Really good work defensively. This coach has to be happy with his team. Yeah, forcing that miss right there. Great effort. Here's Fisher. That is good. Two points. And the Lakers lead by two. Boy, just terrible defense there. Steve, really just a layup line for the most part. I mean, not much defense at all either way. Here's Shorty. Haywood with a screen on Fisher. It's Jordan on the wing. Here's Shorty. Wizards passing it around. Five to shoot. And Shaq sends it back. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. For the Wizards, Jones checked in for Brown. Hamilton comes in for Hubert Davis. And Money subbed in for Shorty. The Lakers also making some changes. Walker's checked in for Shaq. Fox comes in for Smooth. And it's Bryant in for Richmond. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Whitney misses. Jones the pass to Whitney. Oh, that's blocked. Now here's Bryant. He'd better get a move on. The feed to Fisher. A pass to Fox. Takes a three. Rebounded by the Wizards. And here is Jordan. Now Haywood inside. Back to Jordan. Hamilton outside. Hamilton off the pick from Jones. Jordan, he's covered by Fisher. They get the rebound. Haywood dishes to Jordan. Over Fisher. Jordan with another miss. The Lakers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. The kick out to Bryant. Passes it to Orr. He passes to Fox. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones. A long time without a basket. I got to find something. You're right. The drive by Jordan takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Jordan's got 11 points here in just the second half. Timeout called the Lakers. Since the name change for the Wizards back in 1997, it's been tough sledding getting to the playoffs. They've had four appearances, and all four of those appearances have been brief. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Yes, Kevin. Mike Brown was just going over the plan with his team. 
the message, stick with it. He said the game is right there, fellas, right there for the taking. But we've got to play with purpose and precision. Kevin, can they get it done? White, he's checked in for Washington. Here's Fisher. Fox kicks to Bryant. Fisher. Back to Bryant. Six on the shot clock. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. And the Lakers lead by four. With the Wizards, three years in a row, they made the playoffs, but were bounced out by the Cavaliers in the first round. Uh, the fans would really like to see a deep run. I just don't know if it's if it's Steve. It's going to be a while. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the horizon. I think the fans would like to see even a shallow run right now. Kevin, I mean, they haven't made the playoffs since 2008. Uh, of course, the memory for the city that they all think about is uh, the 1978 title when they beat the Sonics. Uh, but it's been a, a tough road ever since then. Here's Fisher after the basket by Washington. Walker is screen on Whitten. Here's Bryant. Jordan with the block. To tie it up. Again, the Wizards hit for two. You know, his performance has been so important to this team. He's as dependable as ever, guys. Whitney against Fisher. Bryant with a screen on Whitney. Fisher, the pass to Bryant. Shot, no good. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. The drive by Jordan. He kicks it to Hamilton. Over Bryant. No good from Hamilton. The Lakers have gone 4 of 8 in this fourth quarter, shooting it even 50% from the field. Well, after he threw that one down, he felt Bryant. free to hang around for a little while. A little extra emphasis at the end. Now, you got to be careful, too, on that. It uh, used to be an automatic technical foul. They'll still call it at times, but they're a little more selective with the call. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They trail by two. 137 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Brendan Haywood, he's checked in for the Wizards. And the Lakers also making a switch. Shaq's checked in for Walker. against Fisher. 129 left in the fourth quarter. Short. The Wizards with another miss. Lakers have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Ori kicks to Bryant. They double him with Jordan. Now the pass to Fox. He dishes it to Fisher. Lakers in the ball around now. Just four to shoot. Pulls it up. Fox, no good. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he is going ice cold here. Back to Jordan. Guarded by Fox. Fades back. No good from Jordan. Did you see his balance there? Guys really faded away. I think that's why he missed. Fisher with the ball. Shaq is screen out with him. Gathers. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. Well, they had a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before that shot. Yeah, and giving up free throws isn't ideal here, Steve. You know that. But at least they got the clock stopped. up missing both free throws well you've got to get it done at the line in that situation now we've still got a game two second difference between shot clock and game clock hamilton outside oh no good got a pretty good look in the basket but defensively they did a nice job rotating forcing the miss they and pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. First 
first free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good. It's a four-point ball game. Those foul shots right there with the dagger in the heart. It's all but over, guys. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're losing by four. There's 10 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? I think the coach is telling them here to just take the easy points in a hurry and then you've got to foul right away. I don't think they necessarily need to just foul blindly right away here. You'll go for a steal before you send one of them to the foul line. the high post. It's in! Michael, that's how you get the crowd on its feet. Huge! Bucket. They've been waiting for that one, guys. Timeout called the Lakers. They're leading by two. Six seconds left in the game. Passes to Fisher. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three point lead. Second one is off. A chance to tie it up, Clark. A three would make it happen. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan Player of the Game, ABC. Thank you.